Hi boys and girls, today we're going to talk about different ways to represent numbers. So you could represent numbers by, for instance, a certain set of objects. You could have maybe um, five jelly beans and that would represent the number five. Or you could write the number five. We've seen how to graph the number five. When um, On our graph we colored in five squares for the number five. We could also represent numbers on dice. So today you're going to need one die. And a new way that we're going to learn to represent numbers is by making tally marks. So tally marks are easy. All you do is put one tally mark for each number. So if you have the number four, you just make one, two, three, four marks. But when you get to the number five, your fifth mark is going to go across the other four. So it'll be one, two, three, four, five. And then if we keep going, it will be six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So every fifth mark will go across. Once you get four, then the fifth one goes across. Now we can see the groups and we can count by fives. Five, 10, 15. If we do one more, that will be 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So when we represent numbers by using tally marks, it groups them so that we can count by fives. Five, 10, 15, 20. Now for our project today, all you need is this paper that I'm sending you, and you need a die, one die. So the first thing you're going to do is roll the die. Oh, I got a six. So first thing I'm going to do is draw the way the dice looks, the die looks. So it looks like this. It's got three spots and three spots. So one, two, three, four, five, six. I don't know if you can see my spots. There we go. And then we're going to write the number. And then we get to do our tally marks. One, two, three, four. Remember five goes across. Five, and six. And then we're going to show the number on a 10 frame. And when we use our 10 frame, we're going to start in the upper left hand corner. And we're going to go across the top. One, two, three, four, five. And then the sixth dot will come back down underneath the first one. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's try another one. Well, that's easy. Number one. One spot in the center. Write the number one. One tally mark. And one on our 10 frame. Let's try another one. Oh, we already did six, so I'm going to roll again. All right. So we have the number three and our spots go in a diagonal. One, two, three. Write the number three. One, two, three tally marks. And one, two, three on our 10 frame. Have fun representing the numbers in different ways.